Today we're going to be doing a super simple tutorial on how to use v Vito Tube Mini by Luna. So pretty much what Vito Tube Mini is, is a free to use, lightweight, easy to use VTuber app. And what it does is it uses PNGs that you can uh, upload to the program to have a simple open and close PNG tuber. So you're going to hit download now and you're going to get the prompt to donate and I would highly consider um, donating if you can to help out and support the dev that is making this and putting this together just because supporting your artist is a 10 out of 10. After you do so, you can go ahead and click through and you can download either the 64-bit, the 32, or if you're using Mac and I believe there's a, a Linux um, version as well. So download whichever um, files are suitable for the computer that you're using. Okay, and then when you hit download, uh, you're going to be getting a zip file. So this is for Windows specifically. You're going to hit OK, and then you are going to get this pop up for opening the zip file. And what you need to do is you need to drag it onto your desktop so you have it extracted onto your computer. Once that is done, you're going to go ahead and double click on the file and you're going to have this pop up. You're going to see uh, Vito to Mini EXE and you want to double click that. I have it run anyway. I use it for streaming, so you should be okay. Alrighty, and then by default, I do have my own PNG tuber on here that I use for um, my drawing streams and just when I don't feel like using my live TV character. And as you can see, um, you can adjust the mic here. So if it's not on the right mic, you can go ahead and switch it. I have a lot of outputs here. Um, and you can also mess with some of these. So it's like the jumping, etc. By default, you should be seeing a deer here. That is going to be by Bella. They did an amazing job doing all the art for this. And there are other avatar examples as well that you can look through. You can load these up. Um, most of them were created by Bella. And I believe there's a couple others that um, just came from shows and all of that. Uh, what's really cool is that you can uh, do a blinking image if you'd like. Uh, totally up to you if you have the uh, PNG to do it. Um, normally what people do is they just upload the closed mouth image and the open mouth image. So mine would be under here. I would do my normal PNG tuber and then I have an idle um, frame with just mouth closed and then another one with a talk with mouth open. And then you upload that into these two spaces. Uh, you can also mess with the different motions that it has. There's a, there's a vibing motion one, which is really funny. More motion, a bouncy one, and excited. Um, another thing too that you have on the right side is you can also do give your <laughs> your uh, PNG tuber different emotes. So I have an angry one. I have a sad one. I have uh, one that was made by one of my PNG, my PNG kiddos. And I have another one too, where it's just for drawing or looking down at a tablet, which is really cool. So you can uh, register hotkeys for those as well. So instead of me going through it and just um, going back onto here and clicking on the states themselves, I can switch it while I'm streaming which is really cool. You do angry, sad, and then back to neutral. And then I can switch to this one too. I also forgot to add to remember to click the bottom left save icon to make sure you save that Vito tube mini file somewhere where you're easily able to access it in the case that the program reloads the default model. This makes it easier to save the states and the preset hotkeys that are already enabled for your PNG tuber. In terms of setting up um, the PNG tuber for OBS, uh, I go ahead and actually put it under a game capture, just like with Live 2D. So you would just do the plus, then you would do game capture, 
and then after that you would have it under here and then you just have it where it um, captures Vito to mini and that should be it uh, you should get this appearance over here it's probably gonna block my VTuber so I'm gonna switch it and you'll have this uh, little fiend YouTuber on the bottom right of your screen and you'll be good to go super easy, easy to use easy to set up and uh, if you have any questions go ahead and uh, let me know on discord or twitter anywhere that you can reach me bye, -bye.